Hi Guidepost, it's Carmen D. And I'm so excited to be here to talk about Bloom, A Girl's Guide to Growing Up Gorgeous, my new book for teens. I decided to write the book Bloom based on the fact that teenage girls really didn't have any real role models out there in terms of beauty. Everything that they're seeing on TV, um, on the internet, in magazines, tends to be really focused on celebrity and not about celebrating their uniqueness and their own natural beauty. A lot of them are suffering from insecurities. I myself had insecurities as a young girl and I wanted to be able to give them tools on how to really build empowerment and self-esteem within themselves and then use makeup in a way to celebrate how very unique and beautiful they are. When I was young, when I was about 10 years old, I was bullied a lot in school. I was an overweight kid. Um, I had braces. I had really cute freckles. My mom permed my hair and it was really curly because that was what everybody was doing at the time. And I was just a normal kid. I didn't even think about the way that I looked. I was having such a great time being a kid. But that's when bullying kind of starts. And all of a sudden I was being ridiculed and made fun of and really teased and, and my self-esteem was in the toilet and I didn't know what to do. And lucky for me, I had parents that gave me some really great tools on how to build my self-esteem and how to deal with that bullying. If you're a parent and you think that your child's being bullied or you think your child actually is the bully, it's very important to sit down and talk to them. Finding out the reasons is the first thing that you need to do. If you feel that your child actually is the bully, it might be because they're missing something at home. Maybe they don't know how to communicate with you. Maybe they feel neglected. Maybe they miss you because you're working too much. Maybe they're insecure about the way they look. Maybe they got bullied and now they're lashing out, moving forward to somebody else because they didn't know how to address it. So you need to talk to them and, and really have them open up and say, what is the issue within you? Right when you're about to bully somebody, what are you feeling? Where do you think this energy is coming from? Chances are they know the answer. They just need a chance to talk to you about it. They need some input. So if you start listening, then you start building their self-esteem at home, telling them and giving them what it is that they need, chances are they are not going to go out and bully another child. One of the main things that happened to me when I was being bullied um, and I was trying to deal with it is that my mom always came to me and said, you know, the best thing to do is to compliment and kill with kindness. And it works. And so what I start teaching women to do is to start doing contagious compliments. It helped me with bullying because I just started giving out the love and the love came back. Just those positive words make a girl feel so good. And you can spread that love through your school. You could do it on social media. You could do it with your friends. And it truly is contagious. So social media is a big part of my life, just like everybody's life these days. Um, but it's a little like the Wild West. You do have to be careful. It can be a blessing and it can be a curse. I always say less is more. I think that leaving a little bit of mystery is very important and I think modesty is key. I think that a lot of young girls these days throw out a lot and it's way too much way too soon because they haven't even figured themselves out yet. So dial it back a little bit. We're going to be here for a long time. But there's plenty of time to be able to discover who you are and, and show the world you know, who, who you are and what you want to project. But just take a moment and take a beat. I think it's really important that um, parents with, with kids a certain age should be on top of their children's social media. They need to be clicking in and, and making sure that they're overseeing what goes on because something that seems very innocent can come along into social media in your child's world and you it, it might look innocent to them and then all of a sudden you've clicked or opened into a world that is not. So you definitely need to be in control and, and be on top and watching it and making sure that friends that they have or people that they follow are sending out the right message, the positive message, the powerful, beautiful message and nothing negative.